13 points of piercing. You shoot him in the back of the head and the arrow comes out of his eye. Impressive. The, the, just as the other two guards that were trying to get to this person get to him, he falls dead. And they sort of she look up at him and, and they're like, they're holding their hands out, palms up, like, how are we going to question him? <laughs> the... Vex doesn't care. <laughs> no. Vex, Vex just smiles and then his teeth just glow. <laughs> there, there's a little ding as one of the teeth sparkles in the rising sun. Okay, at this point, let's go to initiative because the zombies are getting close enough we need to start worrying about that. Okay, Pomp, what's your roll? 15. Vex. Uh, sorry, I was completely thrown off there. Uh, 17. I forgot to roll for Obeim. Okay. Right after Punk. Ari. Uh, eight. And I got one more roll to make. Ooh. Vex has company. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have said that. I'm like, Hagrid, shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. Okay. So, we've got our initiative in order. Um, the zombie horde is getting really close. They will probably be hitting the wall in about two turns. Um, at this distance, everyone give me a perception roll. I also natural 20 okay the horde is not just zombies uh, well it's not just human zombies there are some ogre zombies in the mix um, there are some armored figures that you're fairly certain are ghouls but ghouls don't like being out during the daytime so this really surprises you and you see at least a few scarecrows. Okay. <laughs> so th this is... Um, and they're not marching in any formation. It is literally a horde, but th they're not all the heads are the same height. These are not all Coombridge citizens. Many of them are wearing peasant gear, so it, it, it looks like Clear Spring is taking a visit. Um, there are, um, as they get closer, you see some smaller figures running in front of the group. They appear to be children. And one of them falls and the horde just sort of like walks right over them. Good. Don't I don't like killing children? Don't I? I can't kill children though, right? Um, well, you're lawful good. So killing someone who's helpless is not really one of your highest priorities, no. And children aren't really... Wait, is that what we're There's about... about four children left that are running. They will they will reach the gate this turn. Are they human or goblin? They appear to be human. Oh, no, okay. no, I ain't... Goblin, trying. you wouldn't see them over the top of the snowbanks. I'm just going to kill everything around it. Okay, so they're, they're, they're human children. Okay, sorry. Phoenix, it's your turn. Uh, well, they're running at the gate. Can, I'll, I'll just stay at the gate and just ready my weapon. Okay, the gate is currently closed. Well, when it breaks. The the plan is not to break the gate. The plan is to open the gate and have them funnel through. But the gate's currently down, so these kids are going to be on the the bad side of the gate. Okay, then I'll just stay my turn. Okay, you hold your action. Um, Ari, you're up. Alright. Um, the gate is still down. Um, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to lift it. Um, 
How far away are the zombies approaching now? The zombies Zombie are two orc. turns away, so that would be about 60 feet. Um, 60 feet. The kids are half that distance. They'll arrive next turn. Okay. Am I... No, I'm probably not close enough. Uh, well, I don't know. I was probably up on the wall shooting fireballs, so I'm going to move towards the gate, uh, start yelling to the guards that are... The plan is somebody's got to open the gate. So do we have somebody manning the gate to open it? Yeah. Okay. So I will move towards the gate, yell to whomever's job it is to open the gate, to tell them to open the gate. There are children in front of the zombie horde. Okay. You yell that. And... Yes, we believe, I, they're gonna... to, we believe them to be human children, correct? That's what you believe. Okay. So then, yes, I want... I'm going to tell the guards to open the gate because there are human children in front of the zombie horde and the, their job is to at least get the gate open so that we want the zombies to flow in anyway into the cattle chute. Um, I know okay. the children might be... The children will probably have to come in there, but hopefully somebody can grab them out. Okay. So some guards start climbing up the side of the, the cattle chute. Uh, which is also about six feet tall. It's, it's You could walk from the wall top to the cattle chute top and walk all the way across that to the um, the crematorium if you wanted to. But they start climbing up that to, to be able to reach in and get the kids out. Another guard starts right. working... Several guards actually start working the winch. It's more than a one-person job to, to raise the gate. Okay. Vex, you're up. Okay, so I'm assuming I know how these explosive arrows work at this point. Oh yeah, you shoot them, things go boom. Okay. Um, it rather than a traditional arrowhead on the end, it is some type of very thin, possibly tin container that crushes easily on impact. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'll move Hunter's Mark to one of the ogres. Because you said there were zombie ogre zombies. Yes, yes, there's several zombie ogres. Some of them so in the I'll front move, lines. I'll move that. I'll move the hunter's mark to one of the ones at the front line, and I'll shoot an explosive arrow at it. Okay. Give me a hit roll. Fifteen. That's a hit. So what am I rolling then? Um. Give me 46 damage. In uh, addition to my normal damage? Yes, 46 explosive damage. Okay, so... It's normal... basically a small fireball. Cool. So the normal damage is... 6, 8 piercing, plus the fire damage... Ooh, it's a lot of 6s. Uh, 12... 16, 17 fire damage. Okay, so the zombies around the ogre are on fire. They don't seem to notice, but they're missing parts from the explosive blast. Um, the ogre is now missing the arm that wasn't carrying a club the size of a tree. <laughs> and half of its face. Oh, wow. It, it might have been missing half of its face before. You don't remember for sure. Um, but it's definitely missing half of its face now. It's still coming. It didn't fall over. I'll keep Shepard where he is. I don't want him to run into the fray of a million zombies so he can stay there. Um, and I'll end my turn. Where is Shepard exactly? Shep well, Shepard was... Shepard was following Honk around, okay, wasn't so he? So we're going to retroactively say that Shepard's been with Punk the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Um, Shepard is barking frantically um, at the gate. Um, he, he doesn't know. He is, he's switching between. He doesn't know which he should be doing more, barking or growling. So he's trying to do both at the same time. And it kind of sounds like a hiccup almost. Um, but... He doesn't know what to do because he can't get over the wall 
and he can't get into the cattle run, but he knows bad things are on the other side of it that he wants to bite. You just know how to make him utterly adorable, don't you? I, I'm, I'm just painting the picture for you. This, this is the world as it is occurring. You're the best. Um, I love my party. Okay. So, on this turn, everyone give me another... Well, at, at this point, on Vex's turn, everyone give me another perception check. And tell me the number if it's 19 or higher. If it's not 19 or higher, you're not going to see this. Uh, uh, 18. So. 18. What if it's nine? What if it's eighteen more lower? Then no. I rolled a one. <laughs> it's four ones, jeez. You, I rolled well, nineteen on the dice, so that's twenty-three okay. for me. Okay. So, Phoenix notices a barking dog. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's what got you distracted. That was why you got a one. Because let's Shep face it, Shepherd's First adorableness trick. is a high distraction. And you get rewarded by looking at a cute dog. So, well, wolf, rather. So, you know, there, there, is, there, there is some icing. There, there's a silver lining on this storm cloud that's striking you with lightning. Um, but Vex is... Vex, you got a really high roll. Yep. So, um, here's what happens. It starts with some screams from the town behind you. As you turn to look, because of course you would, the keep, the top of the keep explodes. Like something hit it really hard. Masonry and bits of interior furnishings fly everywhere. Um, some of it landing in the town, hitting houses, hitting the road, um, which increases the screams, of course. Some of it lands on the other side of the wall. This is how hard it got hit. With your high roll, while well, anyone who turns and looks sees that the, the clouds above, which were fairly lowish, to be, be, to be honest, you are up in the mountains, so it's not too surprising to have cloud cover that's kind of low. Um, they sort of come down and back up again in an arc. Like something really fast went through them and the clouds followed in its wake. You're able to catch just the slightest glimpse of a green tail. Oh, no. What? Would I know what that is? Being from Faerun. You have never seen one in real life but would i at least have you known would, about them you would be fairly certain that you know what this is from all the stories that have been told it's a green i just start i just start screaming it's a green and i'm i'm hoping that my fellow fear on people hear that. I'm going to have to roll for Obain because I can't just say, oh yeah, he gets that. Oh, I rolled low. He's like, what, a, a green, what, green arrow? What? Green zombie? From his perspective, you've been fighting the zombies on the other side. Punk, Punk and I have had that conversation about green dragons though. Yeah. Okay, so Pong, you know. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I'm so happy, Crash. <laughs> okay. I am a horrible person. I am bad and I should feel bad, but I don't. You told us I dragons really don't, don't exist, and I'm so happy. The Wait a minute. Oh, liar. God, no. Wait, says I'm a dragonborn. No, oh, okay. Different dragons don't. The dragons don't exist in Circulus. The only reason I know what that is, is because I'm not from Circ Circulus. Well, 
dragons exist as legends and tales. That they're seen as made up stories in, in Circulus. Dragonborn were named Dragonborn because of their resemblance to the dragons of the tales, of the hey, stories. Dragonborn be dragon. But even the people who created Dragonborn weren't saying, hey, we're going to make these people be like those things that actually exist. They assumed they were creating something out of whole cloth and legend. Okay. Ponk, it's your turn. This episode should be called... You have, you have a bag full of things that go boom. I do. Um, question, though. Um, the, the, the people who attacked the... Um, the um, guard tower or whatever, they, they threw something similar at this? The keep. It or whatever. Pretty sure, sure it was the dragon. From from your perspective, Vex, the the way you you saw that cloud curve sort of swooping down and swooping yeah. back up again, it was like the beginning of um, Independence Day, the movie, where the spaceships are coming oh, down, and the cloud is surrounding them. Son of a okay. And you sort of saw the tail sort of swoop out through the cloud cover and then go back in. That's what I thought, yeah. So the dragon ripped the keep, pretty much. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a significant part of the keep that's still standing. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry, Ari, you're probably going to need to find different accommodations this evening. <laughs> you're fairly certain that the part that got smashed was where your guest quarters were. I can, I can live with that. Because I'm alive, and my quarters are not. Yeah. Um, all right. On the bright side, there's going to be no eyeballs looking through that window tonight. So For the, multiple the, reasons. Yeah. So the, the gate is not open. It's still closed, or somebody's gate, trying to open it. The gate is open Opening. enough for kids to come through at this point. All right. A zombie would, would I... have to crawl. Okay. Would I be able to get out the gate towards the kids? Um, your motion would be used up entirely by climbing over the wall. Because you're no. It's it's still a six foot. Well, e even a, a grown human would have difficulty climbing up and over this. There are guards on either side of it that have climbed halfway up of it so they can reach <laughs> down and grab these kids as they run past. Okay. But even they um... have not climbed in. Okay. Um, and honestly, what I'll I, would do have you, I would have you roll a wisdom check if you decided to climb into this because that way lies death. Yeah, but the kids are going to be killed. Um, I'm just, I, I'll just climb the, uh, I guess, climb the wall and. Um, the, the cattle run wall or yeah, the main Yeah, the, the cattle run wall. Okay. Um, so that when the kids come in, um, maybe we, some, you know, somebody can try to help them. Okay. So you, you drop the bag and start going over the wall. Old Bob is just like, wait, I thought we were, oh, well, he's just lighter now. He sort of starts dragging, wave the, them off. The, he starts dragging the bag towards the wall to, to throw things over the side of it at the zombies. That's fine. Yeah. We, okay. Vex, your turn. How far away is that cloud? Cloud cover is about 60 feet above where you are now. I turn back to that ogre and shoot another explosive arrow at it. Give me another roll. Tw 25 to hit. Okay, so... Ogres are quite large, and this one's not wearing any armor. It's got an incredibly low AC. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> it's Shit. it's literally like hitting the broadside of a barn. Normal damage is my max damage, so... There's 11... 
plus the six, so that's 17 points of piercing. And then the fire, which will hit all of them, is 16 points of fire damage. So what what was the piercing? 17 damage again? piercing. 17. And the fire damage was 14. Wait, no. 16. I can't get wrong. 16. Fire damage. Okay. So there's considerably less of this ogre. It's now still alive. It's standing it's able to walk a bit faster because the zombies around it aren't slowing it down. It wasn't slowing down for the zombies. It was just sort of like slowing down because it, as these ogres, and remember, there's more than one of them. As they're walking through this horde, they're sort of like stepping on and crushing zombies. They're, they're not trying to walk with the group. I need that thing to die. <sighs> um, As a free action, can I just shout... Kill that ogre. One of the archers yells, Which one? The one I've been shooting with arrows. They're, they're all shooting things with arrows at this point. There's You are not the only one making explosions with, happen. The one world. with the giant red arrow above its head. Because it has my hand <laughs> <mark> on it. <laughs> We're not in the same raid group as you. We can't see that. You're not helpful! <laughs> uh, oh, wait, so I was shooting at one of the ones at the front. So shoot yeah. the one right at the front. Okay, so they might try that on their turn. And again, I'll get Shepard to move back, um, but also away from that cloud coverage. As far as he can go, just somewhere safe. Because he ain't strong enough to do stuff right now. <laughs> You're not quite sure where someplace safe is. Uh... And that is totally what your character would be thinking, knowing that there's a yep. very large green dragon. Yep, yep, true. Uh... I. Yeah, I. He keeps, he keeps following Punk around. Okay. So he, he's basically still barking like crazy, but he's now moved closer to the cattle run. And he's sort of like looking up at Ponk, like you climbed up that. You, you, you got a little help? If you lift me up there, you know, I could do something. I could, I could get those if you let me. If you could just, you know, just, just could you? Don't lift him up there. <laughs> His eyes look incredibly large and dewy. Don't kill um, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're up to the zombie's turn. The horde's turn, rather. Um, you notice several... Well, anyone who's on the wall sees that several of the creatures that are near the front not zombies but the ones that you think might be ghouls and a few of the scarecrows start lifting up things that look like short ramps oh no <laughs> the siege they aren't gonna see you they're gonna walk right over what? <laughs> yeah a zombie wouldn't know how to climb a ladder but they can walk up a ramp And it, this turn, the kids get to the gate. They run straight on through. Guards reach over the side. Um, Punk, where you're standing on the wall, you are actually not able to grab one of these kids because there's enough guards that are already up there that they grab the kids before they can get to you. That's fine. And... Oh, wow. I'm just taking a moment to marvel at this. When I was rolling for Obame, I was doing incredibly good rolls. And I just rolled incredibly poorly. 
Thank God. Um, well, the guards start screaming because the kids are attacking them. What? <sighs> They're zombie kids. I knew it. They drop them. The, the kids fall down and start trying to, to climb up the walls. They can't because they're short. But the guards are sort of like, there, there's some of them that fell off the wall backwards. None of them fell into the cattle run. And they're sort of like not bothering to get back up again. They're sort of just crawling backwards, trying to get away. Some of them have like superficial scratches on them. But none of them got hit bad enough that it's like an incredibly life-threatening injury. It's more of a very demoralizing thing. But the kids are not the kids on the are other zombies. side of the cattle shoot, right? They're the still kids, in there? They're, they're in there, and they're zombies. All right, fine. It was a ruse. And it worked. Well, not very effectively, because I rolled incredibly low for their attack rolls. But we trusted them. It worked. Yeah, one of them crit failed. It's, let's say it was a little zombie girl, and she went to bite one of the guards, and she ended up biting herself somehow. Thank you, Eclipse, for writing in chat. I was once a great warrior, and then I took a zombie to the knee. What the heck? I love this game so freaking much. Okay, so top of the initiative. We're up to... Um, now, I also rolled for the Idris family... Um, Ardent is, of course, incredibly freaked out because guess where the royal family is? In the, the tower that got knocked down. Um, well, you don't know for sure where the family would be in an emergency. You, you weren't there for that planning stage. Um, so they might be in part of it that's safe. Er, ish. One of those <laughs> suffixes. But he yells, j just, uh, um, uh, Anakin Skywalker, no, type thing. Um, Fervid go, just yells at him to, Ardent, go, check, don't, check on them. Ardent doesn't need to be told twice. He disappears in a poof of logic. Um, then Fervid drops the wand he was using and casts a spell and um, you know the, those fireball wands? Yes. Well, you can do a lot more damage if you're a high level wizard casting a fireball spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is now a crescent shaped hole in the front ranks. Did it kill that ogre? That one, um, it's sort of like there, there's a charcoal outline where the ogre was that sort of collapses as you watch it. Good. There's several more ogres. But that one, that one, the hunter's mark isn't there anymore. Good. Well, I still have it, but yeah. Fenix, um, you're up. And you were, you were near the gate, right? Yeah. Okay. So, old Bob is there. And he's like, yo, little help. <laughs> I just, like, pick it up. <laughs> pick what up? The, the bag. He's like, whoa, 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 one at a time. That's probably enough to explode the whole wall. Some of the guards standing near you sort of start to edge away from you. Important safety tip. <laughs> but I have a feeling if you start throwing these at the zombies, there'll be fewer zombies. Okay, I'll start like picking some out. You're still, like it, like re looking through the bag with like one hand raised, like picking them up with between thumb and forefinger. Like this one, no, I don't like that one. This one. Or are you just grabbing a handful and throwing them over the side? Handful. Okay. <laughs> Screw safety. You're, you're, you're fairly certain that at this distance you could throw 
a vial and hit the front ranks. The ones that haven't been incinerated already. All right. Okay. And considering your height, it doesn't take much for you to look over the wall to be able to do this either. So just give me... Yeah. Um, it'd be an unarmed strike of some kind, but you're throwing it. So roll a d20 and add your dex, I'm going to say. Eighteen. Uh, it's not as impressive as fervid <coughs> uh, fireball, but it does considerable damage. Um, you think that if you threw this at someone fifteen feet away from you, you would not take any damage. Um, so this will be good in close combat, also. Well, close-ish combat. The blast is about a 15-foot radius. That's good. That just made me feel useless. <laughs> and, you, and you got a bag full of these things. Um, old Bob is still Why don't we just... I, 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 I tell old Bob, why don't we just throw the whole entire bag over the side? That would be a great, very localized explosion. And the rest of them would come and eat us. No. Huh. Fair point. Gotta spread it out, Logan. Okay. Next up is Ari's turn. Alright. Uh, what do we got by the gate? Are they still working on opening it? How's the gate look? Well, the part of the plan is to have the gate open so the zombies come through that way. So right. at this point, the gate is up high enough that the human zombies can come through, they would never be able to get it high enough for the ogres to come through. Okay. Uh, I don't have... I'm out of charges on the wand, and I need them all closer for the few area effects I have. Do I know that the zombie... Yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, you know what? I think I'll just armor up at this point. Because they're going to come close. So I will cast Mage Armor on myself to give me a little better protection. And... how The, high, the wall is six feet high, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. So I'm still going to be able to do a few area effects from here... I guess what I need to know is, can I... I have a few, like, Burning Hands and Thunder Wave that I can aim in a short cone, but essentially what he'd want to do is aim it down from the top of the wall, but I don't know how good... I don't know if I'm a, if that would be terribly effective. You're going to uh, wait until you see the whites of your of their eyes. Yeah, basically. It's, each one is only about a 15-foot cone. One does thunder damage, one does fire damage. Uh, the zombies don't seem to be, in particular, more affected by one than one form of damage than the other. Um, and well, the thunder I, ideally, you'd be incinerating them because yeah. the dead zombies in this area come back up again. Right. So, yeah, I'll just wait till something is... I'm already near kind of the, I guess, the gate wherever the gate meets the wall but i'm up on top of the wall so i'm gonna wait till something tries to start coming through the gate and gonna basically cast burning hands on things that try to any of the zombies that try to come down at the gate all righty next up is vex can i see the dragon at all um you all right, armor on give me a perception check at least gives me a slightly better AC if something comes down. 16. You think every now and then you see a darker shape in the clouds, but it could just be that those clouds are a little bit thicker in some places. Um, they're, they're moving in a way that is not like regular clouds. They're like if you if you watch a time lapse of clouds whether when they're rolling in, they sort of roil and boil a bit. Uh -huh. That's how they're moving. 
Can I? Hunter's mark that dark spot. Just move it from a bonus action. You're not sure enough about where the dragon is. <sighs> okay. Can There's I take too a many spots? That, now that you know it's up there, you're looking at every dark shadow and thinking that's a dragon. Can I take a shot? I would assume with disadvantage. Oh, with definitely my, with disadvantage. My, with my bow. What kind of arrow are you using? Explosive. Okay. Are you are you aiming for a dark spot over the town or over the zombies? What do you mean over the ty- over the zombies? If you're going to be shooting up into the clouds. What goes up comes down if you miss. Oh. And even if you don't. I will use a normal arrow. <laughs> I will use a normal arrow. That is a very valid point. I am going to use my inspiration to make it a, just an advantage attack. Just to okay. make it a regular standard attack. Get rid of the disadvantage on it. We, we have our first inspiration point use of the campaign. To hopefully hit a dragon. In the clouds. In what you think be full cover. Come on. Come on. I draw 20. Come on. Come on. Not a natural 20, but still very good. It was a... Chase is trying to math. 24 to hit. Okay. So, let's go through this scenario. You reach for the explosive arrow. And it's sort of like the scene from Pulp Fiction where he's going through and consecutively looking at different kinds of weapons to use and decides to not use the chainsaw and instead use a sword. You reach for the explosive arrow and then reach for one of your regular arrows. Notch it. Pull back. Aim where you think might be a good spot. As you pull back on your bow, out of the corner of your eye, because you're not looking at the bowstring. Um, you don't look at a bowstring when you're firing a bow unless you're an idiot. Yes. You sort of get the feeling that as you drew your bow, the string sort of turned into a vine. Like, you turn to look at it and it's a string, but you look away and you feel like it's a vine. And the bow in your hand, as you sight the arrow like it's, it's all out of the corner of your eye if you look directly at it it's normal but if you're not uh, looking directly at it the bow looks more like a tree branch than a bow bonus and you let loose and the arrow just shoots straight up into the clouds and you hear a roar You have never heard a roar this loud before outside of your dream last night. The wall, the tower you're standing on shakes from it. You feel it in your chest. Everyone roll a wisdom save. It's it's DC 19. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rightful presence. Woo-hoo! Yeah, it is. Natural 20. 19 plus 2, 21. Wait, <laughs> saving? Basically, the dragon roared and used an ability called Frightful Presence. You have to roll a wisdom save. So you roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier. If the number is not 19 uh. or higher, you are frightened. You cannot move no, it's... towards... The, the dragon. I rolled an 18 plus 2, which is 20. Okay, so you, you made your save. That means you are, you are not frightened. Um, you do not need a change of pants. You could move towards the dragon if you were capable of flight. Um, and you are not going to be rolling at disadvantage. 
So, oh, I'll need to do one for Shepard, actually. Dragonborn, why do I need to be scared if of If you're frightened, you roll all your attack rolls. Shepard got two. Shepard got two, so yeah, he's scared. Of course he's scared. He's a little pepperoni. Shepard pees, pees on, his, well, on the eyeball. Technically, it was two plus three, so he got a five, but yeah, he's still scared. <laughs> okay, so what was Ponk's roll? Does not apply. He's raging. Ooh. You think he can't get feared? Wonderful. And Ari made his save, right? Yeah, I rolled a nat 20. I thought you did. Everyone but Shepard did. Okay. <laughs> so Shepard is, is now barking, still barking ferociously because he's been trained to bark ferociously. But he's now barking in a, an incredibly, uh, in a, a slowly widening yellow puddle. Oh. And you're not quite sure if he's barking at the dragon or the puddle. But he's angry at both of them. <laughs> okay. Um, and did that make it visible, to, like, at all? That strike did not make it visible. However, you and the dragon have the same initiative. Of course we do. That's why I said you had company. I didn't think it was the dragon that was company. <laughs> Did you notice how it was your turn when the keep exploded? Oh no, I didn't even realize. Yes. So, there's another swoop. This giant... It's, giant is the wrong word. You're not sure Leviathan does... <laughs> Oh, I swear Credit to God, that's an ancient green. <laughs> for how large this dragon is. You've heard tales of ancient dragons, but you didn't think this was what an ancient dragon was. You thought they were Is it Godzilla size? Oh, die. You could fit the party inside its mouth. Hmm. Okay, so Godzilla, to. almost Godzilla size, I'm guessing. Bigger it's, than Godzilla, love. It swoops down. Um... Seconding from... a visual on a hunter's mark. Granted. Okay. As it's swooping down, it swoops down on the town side. It it goes low. As it's coming in, house roofs are being ripped off in its wake and landing. Of course, there's more screams. It lands. There, there's like a, a gap, a no man's land gap between the edge of the town and this wall. It lands and skids. And as it skids, it sort of like, it almost does drifting. Because <laughs> it starts to skid sideways. And it smacks part of the wall with its tail. One of the towers goes down. And there's now, the wall is breached. You know how in, in World of Warcraft, when you put Hunter's Mark on something that's incredibly large, the Hunter's Mark is huge. Yes. It's eclipsing the sky. <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, no. But that, this whole thing that just happened, that was this dragon's movement. Yep. It hasn't attacked yet. Yep. Um, a drow wielding two scimitars runs out from the town, draws the scimitars, Looks incredibly epic. Is running faster than you think someone should be able to run. Screams at the top of his lungs as he approaches the dragon. The dragon just goes over and goes... <laughs> bites down. You see his feet hanging out of the mouth. Dragon flips its head up. You see a bloody mess. Sort of do a flip. 360 degrees. And then land right in the dragon's gullet again. And you see the neck muscles sort of move as it swallows. And there was much rejoicing. It was only a drow. <laughs> no one tell Ari Sabotor, please. <laughs> and then he turns and looks at the rest of the party. And that ends my turn. And the dragon's turn. Ponk, you're up. Well, uh, I'm going to definitely get down from the uh, cattle ship because I was standing up there. Um, 
the cattle run feels like it's a lot less important now, yes. <laughs> I'm going to hold my turn. I, I I don't know what to do. Okay. Why do I have Vex on here twice? I don't know. What did you do? You know what? I think I put Vex where Obame is. <laughs> so which one's me? <laughs> well, you rolled a 17 for initiative, right? Uh, Maybe. That was a while ago. That was a lot of yeah. rolls ago. I'm, I'm fairly certain you rolled a 17. Because I said you have company when I rolled for the dragon. Yes, you did. Um, but I think I copy-pasted... Because I'm doing all this in a spreadsheet. I copy-pasted your name again to the Obames. So, this is Obames' turn. Um, I should probably roll to see if he was frightened. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Which is terrifying, because he's a wisdom class. He needs to pass. <laughs> oh, um, his wisdom modifier didn't really matter for this roll. Oh, yeah, okay. It, it, it was a single-digit roll. And oh, he made honey. And a 19. Uh, honey. Okay, so it's the zombie horde's turn. They reached the wall at this point. Um... A significant number of them start coming in behind the dragon, where it knocked a hole in the wall. Um, my cat jumps into my dice tray in front of me. <laughs> uh, he fits, so, you know, you know how that goes. Best cat action. Yes. And, um, one of the ogres starts sort of half climbing, half falling over a slightly shorter part of the wall where that one guy made it explode. It, the wall is a bit lower there. You're not going to see normal sized zombies coming through there, but the ogre can get over it. So it does. It lands flat on its face, but it's going to get back up again. And that ends that round. Next up is Fenix and the wizards. Okay, uh... Where's the, the, the dragon? Um... You would be able to run to it and attack this turn, or you can choose to throw vials of explosive stuff at it. I will throw a crap ton of that at it. Okay, so you just grab a handful and chuck it. Give me a roll. And All add right. your decks. Oh, where did my dice go? <laughs> uh, I rolled a 17. Uh, 17. Yeah, I guess I rolled 17. Um... Okay, so what happens is you, you take a handful and you throw it, but you know how if you throw one thing, you can direct it pretty well, but if you throw multiple things, they sort of scatter like buckshot? Oh, no. You, you throw them far enough. They don't... Well, far enough to keep you from dying. They go over 15 feet, but they don't go in a straight line, and they sort of just like... They land on the ground and make explosions. It, it looks spectacular... Um, with these explosions, you expect to see, like, a stage rising up from behind them with a rock band getting ready to play on the other side of it. But none of them got close to the dragon. This is why people tell me to pick one at a time. And... Fervid is still on top of his tower, and he he hits it with a lightning bolt. Oh, damage. It is very difficult to DM when your cat is literally attacking your arm while you're trying to roll dice. But I have I have that mischief sorted. Okay. Next up is Ari. 
All right, we have a hole. We have a breach. Um, is it a section that I can reach from where I am on the wall, like within a movement, or would it be more than one movement away? I'm going to say that you're all within 30 feet of the dragon, um, but this dragon is large enough that the breach would be an additional movement away. Okay, and are zombies already coming through that breach, or the, the yes, breach is just large enough to accommodate? Through. Okay, um, then I'm double moving towards that breach. Okay. I want to I want to start blasting those things that come through there. Okay. Um, so you're right at the edge of the broken part of the wall. You're not entirely sure what you're standing on is stable. Um. Sorry, it's only a six foot fall if I fall. So. Yeah, six foot fall into a sea of zombies. Ah, uh, tis nothing. <laughs> tis but a thousand scratches. Yes. Okay, next up is Vex and the dragon. Oh, I'm, I forgot. Um, Vex, I need Hello. a... Um, I need another save, because you get to save every turn. Uh, save for, from what? For Shepard. Oh, for Shepard. Okay. Yes. Uh, 20. That's 17 plus 3. Shepard is no longer frightened. Shepard is angry. Shepard's Shepherd always is, angry. Shepard is... That's his secret, Cap. Mm -hmm. He's always angry. Um, give okay. Me an, give me an animal handling check. Okay. Uh, that's a 19. 15 plus 4. Shepard runs towards the dragon. What? Shepard runs towards the dragon. No! Barking. But, but, but Shep growling. Shepard has... Shepard has 18 health. <laughs> And he's got a takedown move you've been training him to do. He believes. He believes, Vex. He believes he can do this. He's the best. No. Around. Go for it, little man. He is running towards the dragon. He jumps in slow motion. As he jumps, the dragon... Because this is his turn, too. Yep. Well, you're assuming it's a he. You could be wrong. Hard to tell. Sort of like arches its head to give a nice, soft landing pad on its tongue. Crash, if you kill my dog, I swear and to God. In slow motion, you see Shepard getting closer and closer and closer. And just before the unimaginable happens, the world explodes. That's literally the thought that goes through your head, that the world is exploding because you are suddenly surrounded in flames. You don't know where they came from. I'm saying this to the entire party. You're all close enough. You are surrounded in flames. The flames do not touch you. They go around you. Um, you get the feeling that if you move, the raid will blow up. <laughs> I love World of Warcraft. I don't play it anymore, but you know, you, you do not move when Flame Wreath is cast. No, you do not. Okay. And when the flames go away, the green dragon looks a bit darker in hue. And give me a perception check. Uh, not as good. 13. Oh, no, I added, Shep I added Shepherd's Perception. Uh, 14. Still well, not as better. Good. <laughs> uh, anyone else want to roll Perception? <laughs> 7. 18. Oof. This is my fifth one in the whole time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm not so amazing, sorry. and I wouldn't tell you to waste uh, your your inspiration roll on a perception check. 
But oh my word. <laughs> okay, well, um, Ari, you're the only one who rolled high enough. Um, so green dragons have a crest, sort of like a frill, that starts at the eyes, and it gets, it's at its tallest at the back of the head, but it's sort of like a membrane that's held up with a bunch of spines that go all the way down its neck. Um, Shepard is latched on to this. Oh, Lord. And he's holding on with his paws and just moving his head back and forth for all he's worth. Oh, honey. He's riding the dragon. <laughs> the dragon Shepard. doesn't like this. I'm going to mark that down as an understatement. Oh, holy... <laughs> I just rolled to see if the dragon could shake Shepard off. Natural one? Well, let's just say... I'm not going to have you roll for Shepard's contested grapple. Natural one. Uh, the dragon is shaking its head left and right. You just see Shepard sort of swinging back and forth. His mouth stays put. If only, if anything, if anything, he's doing more damage from being shaken. You do you. <laughs> you do little you little wolf. You do you. Uh, he's the best. I love him. He's the best. <laughs> This is great. Oh, I love this game. And Punk, it's your turn. I never got to do it at the. So Vex, what do you do? Actually got to do it. You, you might not want to use an explosive arrow. Just I'm saying. not going to, because I was, but I'm not going to now. I'm well, gonna the dragon's use... big enough. You could probably aim for a different part of it. True, actually, we do more damage like, as well. I like how the person that has been the most effective is Shepard. So, wait, quick question: Has Shepard, so Shepard did his bite attack and he's done damage and stuff? So that's happened. That has happened. Okay. Didn't drag him down, but he tried with all of his little might. Is, is it, let's be fair. It's an, it's an <laughs> ancient so it's, green it's, dragon. A takedown attack no, is I not going to work. No, I know, but he tried with all of his little might. Um, I'm going to use a explosive arrow and aim it closer to its feet. So that it hits the dragon and any horde around them doesn't hit Shepard. Okay, give me a roll. 18 plus 7. Someone math me. 25. Don't have to hit. Okay, you, you remember that picture I painted for you previously yes. in, the last, in the last turn? Yes. Same thing happens again. Um, it, it doesn't feel as strong this time. You're not quite sure why, but you do get the sense that there's going to be more pushing this arrow forward than just you. Um, it hits the dragon's foot. Roll for damage. All right. D8 and a D6. So that's physical damage. It's, uh, 6 plus the 3. So that's Nine plus four for Hunter's Mark, so that's thirteen points of piercing. And then the fire damage. Six, ten, fourteen points of fire damage. So fourteen piercing, fourteen fire. Okay, now there's no zombies that have gotten close to the foot that you hit. They're coming in behind the dragon's tail mm -hmm. at this point. But you did succeed in giving it a hot foot. Okay, I'm okay with that. It roars at you. Okay. You feel like you've moved back several inches from the force of the war of the roar. I just stare it down. He's got my dog. I'm just staring it down. <laughs> and the, the the dragon. Um, is of course looking directly at you. You are the one that injured it, and the, the the strange flea on its head came from your direction too. Western music. 
And it says, Impressive. Promise to serve me, and I will let you live. Continue this foolishness, and you will still serve me. I respond in draconic. I'd like to see you tr try and make me. Roll an intimidation check against the ancient dragon. No. <laughs> I, I will if you want. That um, that, that wouldn't win here. Um, okay. Dragon's oh. intimidation plus is 20. Because I'm only a plus one to intimidation. <laughs> I'm looking at it saving throws. You, you wouldn't do well. The thing is, it's ancient. It's got legendary saves for stuff like that. It was ancient a hundred years ago. Things it was ancient, since ancient ago. Yeah, I know. It's, oh god, Punk, it's your turn. We're level three, Crash. Why are you doing this to us? All right. So there's no um, zombies have gotten past the dragon yet. Um, they're going past the dragon towards the town. All right. Um. Are there any ogres? I, mean, I know you said one had come fell on its face. Yeah, there, there's um, there's one nearby that landed on its face, and it'll be getting up on initiative five. Um, okay. There's another one that's in this group that's coming in behind the dragon. There's several more on the other side of the wall. Because what I'm thinking of doing is if I could the uh, the ogre that fell down. Let's see if I can just I want to try to bash its brains in with the uh, can opener. Give me a hit roll. All right. Actually, give me an athletics check. Okay. Because uh, you said you I wanted to bash the ogre's head in. Yeah. And I want to, uh, this to win. I want to see this. Eleven. Okay. So you run towards the ogre and you jump as high as your little gnomish legs can take you. And you're sort of propelled a bit more because you're raging. Um, you manage to grab onto... It's not a belt. It's belt adjacent. It does the same job. And hoist yourself up a bit more. And you're, you're not going to be able to bash this thing's head in from above. But your wrench gives you enough reach that... Now that you've basically... You're sort of half perched with one foot on this belt. And one hand is grabbing chest hair... And you feel like you really need a shower after this. <laughs> Your hand that's holding the wrench is positioned that you can do an overhand strike at it. So give me an attack roll. Uh, let's see. It's... So, okay, so plus four. Okay. 22. That's a very palpable hit. You need some damage. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, so it's 1d6 plus 2. Uh, six. Okay, so now you are riding the front of a very angry ogre zombie. With no face. Alrighty. It's Obame's turn. Um, he rushes over to help you, and I'm gonna say he tries to turn undead. Um, Punk, I need you to make a. Not athletics. acrobatics. Give me an acrobatics check. 
acrobatics. Or death save. Uh, I can do acrobatics. So you can do acrobatics? Yep, I'm okay, plus two on acrobatics. Acrobatics, excuse me. Eight. Okay, so that's not good enough, unfortunately. Um, because as Obame tries to turn undead on this ogre that has breached the wall. Um, he expected it to start trying to move away or at least to stun it or something. It vaporizes. You are no longer standing on anything. So you fall flat on your back. You're prone. But there's oh, no great. ogre there. Glass is half full. Yeah. Obain was able to help because he didn't have to move towards the dragon to do that. I rolled an 18 for his save for this turn, so he, he's he's still incredibly frightened. He's going to have to change his armor. Okay, next up, all the baddies. Um... You hear some thumps as ramps are put up along the wall in various places. The guards are doing their best to fend them off. There's still explosions going off as they fire arrows, some of them at dangerously close range. Um, none of you are really paying too much attention to that because there, there's something else on your mind that's sort of distracting you. Um, may, maybe you've got ADD or something. <laughs> um, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. It happens. Um, the zombies behind the dragon continue to move towards the town, and some of them are getting to the first set of houses. They're not going towards the party at all. Okay. Next turn. Fenix, you're up. So I have these... Uh, like, is, is it a bag of explosives? You gotta. You don't know how many are in here, but you could be throwing individual explosions for a while. Uh, the dragon. What, what would be the radius if it exploded at the same time? It would not increase. You, you don't think it would, based on what you just threw. Actually, yeah, give, give me a give me a perception check. 17. Yeah, you don't think that if you threw the whole bag, the explosion would be a larger radius. Can I take these... The, these bombs, pick them all, all up, um, and take them to the dragon, like, move to the dragon? What? Throw them? Um, you can. Are you gonna move all the way to the dragon, or are you going to stop outside the blast radius? Out outside the blast radius. Okay, just checking, because, you know, you, you could do a suicide run if, you, if you're, like, uh, whatever. Okay, so I just want to chuck them all. Okay, so you use your movement to get pretty close to the dragon. Um, give me um, an attack roll with your dex modifier. And remember, you do have um, a point of inspiration you can use at any point to get advantage on an attack roll or a save. Saving that. Okay. Oh, my second natural 20 of the entire session. Okay. So you throw this bag full of explosives at the dragon. You hit it in the center of its chest. Um, now listen very closely. I need you to roll all the d6s you have now you're you think you heard one thing but i need to clarify i need you to roll all the d6s you have they're like the cube looking ones right yeah they're Those the normal the dice how Five. many d6s do you have i have like two you have two yeah. Well, roll them and tell me the number and I'm going to multiply it. Four. 
five. I just keep on rolling them. Um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some math on my end. I'm just gonna multiply it to save time. Yeah. Because I that... rolled my. I rolled my two. Uh... P sixes and it was a four and a five. That that was a very earth shattering kaboom you just did. I need to look something up real quick. Dragon needs to die. No. I'll settle for it flying away. <laughs> I could have caused a big hole. You could have made a, a decent sized hole, yes. With dirt raining around, all around you. So here's the problem I have. Um, Phoenix, I'm looking at your character sheet. I don't see how many hit points you have. Oh, yeah. I have oh, wait, 33. I do. I do. 33, okay. Because here's what happens. Oh, no. You do considerable damage to the dragon. Dragons have... Ancient dragons have what's called legendary actions. An ancient green dragon can do three of these per turn. Um, but they don't do them during their turn. They do them as reactions to other players doing things. So as a reaction to you trying to create a crater in its chest, it does a tail swipe at you. I'm waiting for a legendary action to pop up. Oh yeah. So, does 20 beat your AC? Yeah, by a landslide. Yeah, I rolled a 5, but it has that much of a bonus to its attack. Holy crap. You take 17 points damage. Holy crap. And, um... While we're at it, Vex, give me a contested grapple check for Shepard. Because this dragon had to swing 180 degrees around to hit... Phoenix with his tail. So is that acrobatics or athletics? In this case, it'd be athletics because he's holding on for dear life. Okay. 18. Not quite enough. You see an adorable gray blur break free he never lets go. Part of the dragon's crest goes with him. But he sort of like skids horizontally off towards um, the edge of town. Not near where the zombies are, but sort of adjacent to where the zombies are going. Oh no. He skids on the ground on his side. And he hits the side of the building and it stops him. You you see the thud, you don't hear the thud. Poor little guy. He takes four points of damage. Okay. It's Ari's turn. All right, uh, I am near the breach where the zombies are coming in. I'm going to use burning hands to try to incinerate some of them as they come in or as they're trying to get through the wall. And that is 3d6 fire. It is a 15 foot cone. So hopefully I'll just try to zap as many as I can. 15 foot cone, I'm going to say, is enough to go from one end of this hole to the other. Okay. Well, I'll try to blast any zombies that I can see down there. Ooh, nice. So that's 
So that is 12 fire damage to all the zombies in there, unless they make a DC 14 deck save. There is now a trail of burning zombies heading towards town. Okay. The town that's mostly made of wood. <laughs> I'm going to do some more. Okay. When it's my ne- when it's my next turn, I don't plan on leaving here unless the wall falls down. Okay. Vex and company. Okay. I want to take an explosive shot right at the dragon's mouth. Okay. Roll the hit. And he's giving you a perfect opportunity to aim for his mouth because he's coming for you. All right. Well, then that's a uh, trying to math in my head, and it's not great. Twenty-four to hit. That's a hit. Right. That's oh, max normal damage. Okay, so that's nine. so that's seventeen points of piercing. And 12, 16, 17 points of fire. 17 and 17. Okay, so what happens is you shoot this explosive arrow at the dragon as it's coming towards you. It closes its mouth over the arrow. You hear a sort of muffled... (laughs) And some smoke whiffs come out from between its teeth. And it sort of shakes its head a bit. It wasn't expecting the blast to be that strong. Um, it, it it's not stunned per se, but it's it's like if you if you bite into something that's a bit spicier than you expected it to be, throws you off. Yeah, and so it it, it just looks at you with one eye because its its head's turned to the side as it's trying to shake off this bad taste in its mouth tastes like burning and it goes to backhand you with one of its claws okay does a 21 hit yes how many hit points do you have 26 well I have 28 total but 26 currently you now have 4 Oh my god. And you are prone against the wall. Okay. <clears throat> Punk, you're up. Well, well currently I, you're down. I have to get up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is that my turn getting up? Um, I believe that's your movement. Okay. But there's nothing uh, you to attack. You could use your attack to move. Um, you lost me there. I, I got to get up. That's my yeah, movement. If you, right? Yes, but you, you also have an attack, and you can, instead of making an attack, you can move. It's like if you do okay. a double movement, you forfeit your attack. Oh. Um. At this point, um, you could move and get to the dragon. You could move and get to Vex where he's lying prone. You could move and get to Shepard where he's lying prone. You could move away from the frickin' ancient dragon, but you won't do it because you're raging. Um, I'm going to go uh, get uh, Shepard and try to go pick, <laughs> pick him up. No, I agree with this completely. Get the dog. Save the dog. And, and I'm just going to go try to protect Shepard, try to see if I can get him out of the way. He's more than a mascot. He's a friend. Exactly. Okay, so you run over to Shepard. He looks a bit battered, but he's breathing. Okay. I'll pick, um, I, if I can pick him up and move again, but I guess I can't. I'll just, just guard him then. There, there is a piece of green membranous flesh in Shepard's mouth. He's not letting go of it. Good boy. I'll, I'll, I'll pat him behind the ears and say, good boy. Good love, he whimpers a bit. So. 
Obame's turn. And I opened Fenix's character sheet in this in a different tab of the same browser. So I was looking at Fenix's character sheet wondering where his healing spells were. <laughs> I mean, they're there, but they're not exactly the same ones. Yeah, there's no healing word. Okay, Obame runs to you, Vex. And he's going to cast uh, Cure Wounds. He, he, he puts his hand on you. He says a prayer to... What's his face? Your mother. Name I, yeah, thank you. I only m misremember it when... I'm recording at this point, because why not? And um, Vex, you're at full hit points. Oh, wow. Obame looks kind of shocked by this, too. I mean, he was he was trying to put an extra level into this, but it shouldn't have done that much. No, it should not have, but I'm going with it. Wait, I see what's happening. Can Vex just have a click on what the hell just happened there? Because I, I I figured it out. Go ahead and give me a wisdom check. Okay. That's a 17. Oh yeah, you know what's going on. The gods are on our side. Okay, and now the baddies. Um, zombies continue to do what zombies do. Um, the guards are trying to hold their own, but they're panicked a bit. Go, go figure. I'm just marking things off here. All right, beginning of the next turn. Phoenix, yeah. you are um, on the Purple. ground in front of a very, very large dragon. Alright. I'm gonna use... I'm just gonna use Golden Dragon Breath, but if I use that when it killed... It, well... To be fair, you are... S laying on your back in front of an ancient green dragon. You won't be able to... Well, you could move away, but then you wouldn't be able to do any attacks. Or you can attack and stay put. But either way, there's nothing preventing this dragon from coming over and attacking you. Other than all of your friends who are also trying to attack the dragon. Can I use Cure Wounds while I'm prone? You you can uh, stand up and use Cure Wounds. You don't have to stay prone the I'll, entire time. I'll have to do that and just take a shot. Okay. Um, you use Cure Wounds on yourself, and you're at full hit points. Don't even have to roll for that. Um, and the world explodes again. Oh god, what's Shepard do now? Shepard has nothing to do with this. The Eaters has go on this turn also. Oh. They're casting a modified version of a fireball spell. It does not harm allies. You hear a dragon roar, as you do when dragons get caught on fire. They, they don't appreciate that very much. Um, mm -hmm. And when the smoke clears, um, well, the breach is still there, but there are no zombies in it, just adjacent to it. There's a few that got to the edge of the town um, that are still up, but the rest of them are gone. 
all the other zombies are on the other side of the wall currently. Furbit Idris is having none of this. Ari, you're up. All right. Well, I can't seem to match that magical feat. Um, there are a few zombies that made it on to the other side of town. You said, are those the ones? Are those the ones I lit on fire? Um, no, the ones you lit on fire were coming through the breach during your turn. Um, the ones that made it to the edge were the the vanguard of this group. Sorry, you, you what? You went all distorted on me. Um, no, the ones that made it to town were not the ones you set on fire. The ones you set on fire are gone. They they are dust on the wind. You're... All they are is dust on the wind. Okay. I only heard part of that. I got zombies are not... The ones that have made it through are not on fire. Correct. Uh, okay. Uh, and then the ones that are... The ones that are still left are still here. Uh, they're on the other side of the breach. Yes. Where's the dragon? Is he still up and active? Yes. Okay. It's looking more and more like a black dragon as the fireballs yeah. keep hitting it, but <laughs> it's it's still up and moving. Okay. And getting progressively more angry. Uh, Phoenix is down. Vex is no. down. No way. They're both. No. They got. They both got up. Where are more of those? Um, the sack of whatever you threw at the green dragon. Is there more of that? Mm -mm. Um, I threw the whole entire thing at the dragon. Yeah, he threw chest. the whole sack. Okay. Well, I'm asking, is there more of that? Uh, <laughs> no, okay. Not um, that you have. Yeah. Uh, I don't have enough damage here. Uh, I can't do enough damage with a with the burning hands to, to really do much more than light these zombies on fire or let them go further into the town where they can burn more things. So I'm not going to do that again. Uh, and thunder damage won't do enough to them. All right. Um, I need to head. Uh, the wall's not safe here. So where can I descend from the wall safely? Is it back at the gate, or is there basically no safe point from where I'm at? Do I basically got to jump? You think Florida would be a safe place to descend <laughs> from the wall? Well, especially with the green dragon overhead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's on the ground, but it, that still makes it overhead. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, there's... You would have to double move to get out of striking distance of the dragon. That doesn't mean it wouldn't be able to hit you. It just means that it wouldn't be able to tail swipe you. Um, well, he's not a... Currently, I don't believe he's interested in me, so... Um, no, you're a gnat to it right now. And you're not the gnat that's biting at it. You're pre I couldn't hear anything there. I, pl I distorted again. Am I distorted to everyone else, too? What? Sorry. Am I distorted to everyone else? Also? You are lagging really bad, Crash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't. I cannot understand anything he said. Domi arigato, Mr. Roboto. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Uh, okay. I can. If I leave, will the dragon take a shot as I leave? Um. You don't know. All right. Uh, you in particular has no working knowledge of dragons whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. To me, this is a giant flying lizard um, that happens to. Well, actually, it hasn't breathed anything yet, so it's a oh, giant it flying lizard. It has. It it no, it didn't breathe any breath weapon at us, did it? It hasn't breathed when, anything at you. Oh, okay. Yeah, when Shepard jumped, it did. No. I thought no, you said when it. Shepard jumped. Um, a fireball was used. Oh, right. Okay. All right. But that was on the dragon, not that was from the, the dragon. dragon. That wasn't the breath <laughs> weapon. Right. So we haven't seen that this thing can breathe. This one has what... a poison gas, but you your yeah. character wouldn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I Player knows, character doesn't. So. Yeah. Um... No one in the party has seen it breathe. 
Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, I gotta get down. <laughs> the spell isn't. The spells aren't as effective up here. So, uh, I'm gonna try to jump down from the uh, wall. It's easy to do. It's only six feet tall. Okay. And there's currently no zombies to land on, so you're fine. All right. Theoretically. Then, yeah. For now. So I'm. Yeah. I'm on the ground near the breach. Uh, basically, what I want to do is kind of shoot my uh, last burning hands out. I don't. It's not going to do a ton of damage, but it's. I got to do something to try. Sounds good. All right. And damage is a whopping ten. Uh, so DC 15, 14 dex save for any zombies that caught in the zone. There's no zombies close enough to be caught. Oh, but well, I wouldn't cast. Were, but yeah, you I would cast it. Okay. No, if I can't catch any zombies in there, I won't cast it. No, the fireball uh, cleared out the zombies in this particular area. You'd have to right. wait for their turn to get closer. If you wait till their turn, they will be closer. All right. Then I will wait to ready to cast the spell once some are closer. Okay. So you're, you're, you're lining up for a shot. Yeah. Okay. Um, the zombies that are going into town between the houses explode. That might be our, well, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> um, give me a perception check. Anyone over 15, let me know. Uh. 23. 17. Nope. You hear the cries of zombie children. Not zombie, of, of goblin children. Zombie children be something different. Um, you hear the cries of <laughs> goblin children, but they're not cries of fear. They're like a battle cry, but a slightly higher octave. Like a crash bound battle cry. Except goblin. Yeah. Um, Which none of us speak. <laughs> nope. Well, there's no words to this. Yeah. From between a different set of houses, a hooded figure with a cane steps out, smacks the cane, the, the butt end of the cane down on the ground, waves, another, waves her other arm out in front of her, and vines and roots shoot up from the ground and start wrapping around the dragon. Oh, what? Grasping vein. Nature's wrath. You mean tangle? Maybe. It's not enough to trap the dragon. Yeah. It, it so, makes it save easily. It's enough to annoy it. Mm. Well, yes. It, it notices the effort. Okay. I just had it use its legendary action to tail swipe the shaman. I was thinking we're going to have something go airborne. I just rolled a one. So the tail goes through the houses. Feel the breeze. But too high to touch the goblin. And it's a good thing that Ponk went to get Shepard because that particular house has collapsed. Ponk was able to, to get Shepard away from that in time, we're going to say. Thank you. Vex, it's your turn. Okay. After the realization of with Obain and the very obvious use of the very obvious intervention of the gods here I notch my arrow with a explosive arrow and just do a very quick Sylvanas guide this bolt save us all This doesn't happen, but I feel tempted to have a voice whisper into your ear. What do you think I've been doing? Duh! <laughs> but you don't hear that. 
okay. I'm gonna. Sylvanas I'm gonna... wouldn't say that. Days, pick days, pick Perhaps days. now might be a uh, uh, best, uh, time to use your advantage roll. Already you have. Oh, I did it to it. actually get the dragon the first time. Uh, yeah. He's the only one who's used that. advantage. Okay, I'm gonna use my dwarf dice. Okay. Come on, baby. Dwarf dice are shorter, so the numbers they roll are lower. Natural, natural, natural. All I'm hearing is natural, natural over and over again. I'm not hearing the number he's asking for. <laughs> natural 20. Big bada boom. Big bada boom. Okay, so that's. So wait, how, how are you doing, Chris? So am I just doubling the dice? You double the dice. Um, and then add the and normal then modifiers. Add modifiers. Okay, so that's 10, so 20, 23 piercing. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen times two, thirty-six fire. You hit it in its left eye. There is an explosion. The skull is still intact, but the eye is definitely gone. And it's the, pissed. There's there's missing scales around the socket that have been blown clear off. Um, the socket is large enough that you can't tell if the the shaft of the arrow is still in there or not. Um, you imagine that it was vaporized in the explosion. Maggots. You are not worthy to serve me. Be gone from this world. And it breathes. I saw this coming. Um, it actually, it breathed on the town, just so you know. The oh, same, I'm in a terror on the side. The, the same turn that yep. it, it destroyed the keep. Um... That's when the scream started. Poison gas seeping in through the windows will kind of do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, was my, was my turn so supposed been... to go like before? No, Vex and the dragon go on the same round. Yes. Oh, uh, I thought my turn went first. Um, and I've been being very nice and letting Vex pick his t attack first. Um, mm -hmm. And I've been counting down since then. I've actually been using a die to just count down until his breath weapon renewed and this is the turn so it's kind of fortuitous that this is the time you really piss him off he breathes a cloud of gas just roils out from its mouth and it flows over the ground it's it's a 10 foot high cloud just roiling over the entire party and around the entire party. It takes a similar path to what the flames were doing. Only for the flames, you understand that there was a benevolent force from the caster keeping the flames from hitting you because you were an ally, you weren't a target. In this case, you feel like there's something pushing the gas cloud back from you. Um, the rest of you don't notice this, but Vex, you notice in the swirling patterns of the gas, you think you see some oak leaves where, you know how human brains are wired to see faces in anything? Yep. That's kind of what's here. You think that you see oak leaves. It might just be that you're thinking of Sylvanas helping you and that's why you see them because you want to see them, or they might actually be there. You're not uh, entirely sure, but you have a guess. The, um, the breath weapon fades. The dragon looks around and you're all still standing there like, wait, what? When, when you're ready. As the breath weapon fades, I share up to him, serve you. 
you're gonna wish you never came here and end the turn. Well, it doesn't end its turn because it has two legendary actions remaining. That's fine. And it uses both of them to do a wing attack. I heard that one. Sorry, that was definitely me. Yeah, no, no, 100%. Because I hate a wing attack. Everyone roll a deck save. Okay. No! No! Okay, so that's a... Uh... 19 oh. for me. That's my sixth one. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Shepard rolled more than me. 22 for Shepard. <laughs> no, I rolled a okay. one again. This is interesting because I think Ponk is still in game holding Shepard. So, Ponk, what's your roll? I got a, uh, a natural 20, but a, with my modifier, I got a 22. Okay, so you're so both fine. Both but but if, you, if you had failed it, um, yeah. Shepard would have been holding you up somehow. I'm going to use my uh, pre-rolled 13, add 3, that goes to 16. Probably won't be enough, but we'll it see. It is enough. It is fine. Oh, okay. Um, mm. Everyone but Fenix just looks like they're in a rock band. <laughs> um, I rolled a 1. <laughs> Fenix is rolling like a tumbleweed. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you take 15 points damage and you're prone again. I dick. But you're also another 15 feet further away from the dragon than you were before. And with this wing attack, um, the dragon is also airborne. And moving further away. It is now 40 feet up in the air. Any further and you won't be able to see it through the clouds. Could I still see with my Hunter's Mark? Because so it's still it, on it. Um, it won't be in range for much longer. If, um, okay. With the wing attack, it moves at half speed, and it got 40 feet straight up. So it won't be within range of your arrow, arrows for much longer. 150 feet. 600 with disadvantage. Punk, your turn. Uh, so it's 40 feet up in the air? Yes. And there's no zombies for me to attack? Not yet. There there uh, were some that really were dope. one move away from right. me, but they're little Vaporized. zombie fish now. Um, I'll just flip off the dragon. Okay, that's a free action. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there's nothing for me to attack, so... Obame fires his... Fancy glitter attack. Natural 20. Yeah, it is. Oh. The green dragon at this point looks like... Um, so imagine an epic ancient dragon miniature. Now imagine yep. if you hand it to a four-year-old girl to paint it. Oh, God. <laughs> and let them use all the glitter they want. Oh, God. No, no, no. Use all the glitter you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be worse. And it's sort of like it's stuck on places. It looks like the dragon has another head. It's dripping off of it still. That was the when I was still teaching visual art specifically. That was my bane. I hated glitter. You could not get it out of anything. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, so the zombie horde is still True. coming. And Ari's been holding his turn. Yeah, waiting for them to get close enough for him to fry them. You can see the whites of their skulls. All right. Well, let's roll some damage. Do it. All right. Well, that's 12. That's a little better than... So, 
They make a saving throw, DC 14. Um, I am never going to roll a nat 20 with this guy. It's the one that lights up when I roll a nat 20. Oh, but, it's the worst when you don't roll it, isn't it? Well, in this case, it's still a good it goes thing. Off. Yeah, but it's like from for you, it goes all sparkly, and it's, it's yeah. You want I, that I, one to roll I have, twenty? I have moved it to be a twenty, but I have never rolled a nat twenty with this die. But but for today, that's not a bad thing. Um, okay, so you do damage to the zombies, and they're on fire now. Yep. Um. Well, their boots are on fire. As long as they're on fire, that's what matters. The the the, the zombies aren't there. It, it's uh, it, like from, oh, the knees, incinerated. from the knees down, they're there. Ah, uh, well, you di you didn't think it would do that much damage. Something's going on. Ari's not very religious, so I'm not even going to try to guess at what's happening. <laughs> And that's the end of the turn. Phoenix, you're up. Uh, Down again. Yeah. I'll get up. Every turn, Phoenix spends his turn getting back up again. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. We're not going to keep him down. Uh, We're going to keep him down. What's bad that's near me? Um, your save roll. Otherwise, you're doing pretty good. Oh, so there's nothing near me? The closest thing to you would have been the dragon, and it's trying to get away right now. Okay, what can I do? Uh... You can move towards the breach in the wall, but you're not going to get there this turn. I'll move... move. I'll move, I'll move towards the wall because I still have more. Okay, you make a double move towards the wall. Um, you'll be able to use your move next turn to get to the breach itself. Alright. Um, there's another huge fireball, but it's directed at zombies on the other side of the wall because the ones on this side of the wall are gone. There's... Um, random cheers from guards, too, because it looks like we're on the winning side now. Ari, you're up. That quick. Um, all right. Uh, I've got you only one... Your turn, that's why. Oh. Well, I, I was, that was me. I was using that turn to kill the zombies. Yeah, so now it's your actual turn. And now it's your actual turn. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. Back to me again. Okay. Uh, well, I'm out of spell slots except one that I'm keeping in reserve. I don't want to use the last charge in the wand. Uh, so, at that point, um, yeah, I'm going to... I've got nothing left. To f we have those arrows. Uh, see if I can find a bow. <laughs> <laughs> start start imitating doing my best impression of Phoenix or sorry uh Vex. Uh um, see if I can go find a bow. They were positioned at strategic points along this wall. Okay. Uh, you're fairly close to one of the towers. The towers aren't much structurally. Um they're hollow on the inside with the with the winding staircase that leads up to the right. top. Okay. And there's also a stockpile of arrows and a few bows. Not many, but th there's a bow in there. Okay. Then I want to go find it, grab it, get get a quiver of some red arrows, and get back up on that wall and start shooting. Oh well. So. the the entrance to this tower is th there's an entrance to it at wall level. Okay. So you never have to get down from the wall to get into the tower. Okay. So that's what I will go do. I will try to find a bow, get up on the wall, get some arrows, and we'll go from there. That, Wizard that with the bow. Be. Huh? Wizard with the bow. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's Next out of spells. Punk will be casting spells. <laughs> yeah. The wizard's used up his tank. He could go Bardabarian. Go to what now? He could be a Bardabarian. Uh, 
<laughs> you are bad and you should feel bad. No, I pass. Hey, Barbarians <laughs> are the best. Do, do they only sing death metal songs? If they give me inspiration, they are the best. A <laughs> barbarian with bagpipes. I'm okay with this. That have flames come out of them when you play them. Make a shot, big man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say you can you can get off a shot. Go ahead. And okay. Run. All right. So what? That's just Dex modifier. Yeah, which I have a plus three at. So hey. Oh, nice. You're a Dex. Uh, almost, <laughs> almost as good as an elf. And I got a 19 on the die. Yay! Plus three, 22. Roll for damage. Yay! That's uh, one that? D. We're using longbow. D8, and then the red arrows are 4d6? Yes. All right. Lucky shot, right? Ooh, 8 on the die. Uh, my dex modifier is 3, so that goes to 11. And 11 piercing, and 8, 5, and 1. Uh, so that's 13, 14 fire damage. You blew up an ogre's head. Yay! <laughs> It falls backwards and squishes a bunch of zombies. <laughs> All right. Vex, your turn. If I, if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I aim up at the dragon. Of course you hoping, do. Uh, yeah, I'm taking this thing out. I'm taking it out. Hoping that this is enough. And I let it go. That's a 20 to hit You almost hit it. Oh. The arrow goes through where the dragon was at the time you loosed your shot, but it's moving. Because so it's his turn too. Yes. <clears throat> it's his turn too, and also it was an AC of 21. Mm. <laughs> Plus one jar. Yeah, and um, I hate to tell you that you fired straight up with an explosive arrow, but you fired straight up with an explosive arrow. <laughs> I saw this coming. I was okay with this. Give me a dex save. No, don't don't hit on top of your head. That's a 24. Okay, so I was going to say, if the roll was lower but still good, I was going to say you jump out of the way as this arrow comes down and explodes and you sort of like fly through the air but um in this case it it's your arrow you shot it you know where it's going to come down having not hit a target so you just turn and casually stroll away from the impact zone pulling out a pair of sunglasses you didn't know you had because don't exist in this world and putting them on as the world explodes behind you how's a 19 plus 5 I would have accepted a 10. <laughs> For this particular thing, I would have accepted a 10. <laughs> I just did it with style, that's all. Exactly. Uh, um, right. And Shepard can't point, do anything because he's dra in... Dragons yeah. in the clouds. <coughs> you can still kind of tell where it is with your hunter's mark, but it, it's... It's haul and butt. It, it, it's, it's done. You sort of hear the Doppler effect, Magus, as it flies away. Okay. Um, at this point, local time, it's 1230. I'm going to say, because the, the biggest bad of this particular battle is retreating, that we put a pin in this and worry about the the aftermath of this battle next week. Um, what did you guys think? I agree. Best one yet. I'm really annoyed I didn't kill that dragon. <laughs> you weren't this going is, to. This is the best yeah. one. He was he was running bef running before we had a chance. He, he and, decided uh, to leave not because you did enough damage. He decided to leave because something was interfering. 
Yeah, he realized that um, his breath weapon did nothing, and you were healing too much. There, there were divine intervention. <laughs> Literally, even the dragons know when not to fight the gods. So, but we we took out one of its eyes, right? Yeah, its left cool. eye. Cool. So we'll know it when we see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he and will come back. Compared, I'm sure. <laughs> compared to all those other ancient green dragons yeah. exactly. that you run That's, into, yeah. Like you, you, you might be like at a bar or something, and you see an ancient green dragon, and they're like, "Oh no, no, sorry, mistaken identity. I saw the left eye. It not, it's not you." Okay. There, there was, there was more that I had planned, but I realized, um, more that I planned for this battle, but I realized very quickly that this was going to run long, and I was just like, no, no, I'll just leave those details out. We'll talk about those later. This um, is the longest one. Yeah, this is a marathon one. <laughs> I know. Well, well, we've had some that were kind of long. We've been recording for. Oh no, no this this is a four hours recording. Yeah, yeah, this is our longest one yet. Um, this is amazing. So I asked this in Discord last week, but um, I've seen other shows do this, so I'm going to ask you all while recording also, just to cap this off. What's been your favorite moment of the campaign so far? When I throw the wagon and break it. So, episode <laughs> one, we have not been able to top yet. I'm okay with that. I'm glad, that, no, I'm glad you no. appreciate that moment. My favorite, my, my really favorite moment was when I, when I was just with Tom. <laughs> that was funny. With Tom doing what? No, Tom falls out of the roof and lands on the, the zombie in front of me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that was a good moment. Anyone else? Uh, what Shepard did in this game, that was awesome. Shepherd I have been planning Brian. that for a week. I expect. I love that to you. Happen. I love you. You're so cool. <sighs> what happened to my, my oh, bird? You can, you can add bit of ancient dra green dragon to your inventory because he literally <laughs> did not let go of it. Speaking uh, of animals, I, I'm sort of what thinking that in, in, in game, Punk brings Shepard over to you, and he just he's holding the bit of green dragon, and Shepard is just sort of hanging on, it and he says, "This yours." <laughs> <laughs> So I, I'm sorry, I talked over you. What what was that, Phoenix? What happened to Justice? To who? Justice, Justice. his bird. Um, you don't know. You left him in the inn, but oh. you you can't see the inn from where you've been fighting. Ah! Cliffhanger is really. Really. I don't know if my bird's dead now. We'll have to find out next session. Dun, dun, dun. I know. And on that note, I think it's time to call it a wrap. Okay. Thank you. All right. That was a yeah. lot of fun. <laughs>